And we're back. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show. And we always like to shout out our sponsors. We got Replenish IV Solutions, longtime friend of the Consumer Quarterback Show. I love to go down and visit uh, their Gandhi location. They've got a Carrollwood location, multiple locations. Replenish IV Solutions, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Vitamin infusion drip directly into your bloodstream. It's going to boost your immunity and boost your health. ReplenishIVSolutions.com. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. And we got a couple of hot listings here on the program before we go to our special guest, Con. Contractor extraordinaire Fred Muth on the program. Uh, we got a hot listing here in uh, Hudson. This is Southwind Drive. Uh, we've got a lot of vacant land listings available. This is one of them. And this one is actually your backyard could be the Gulf of Mexico. How would you like to say that? My backyard is the Gulf of Mexico. Well, you got that opportunity right here on Southwind Drive in Hudson. Uh, this is a beautiful waterfront property and it's Sea Pines neighborhood. Build your dream home on this vacant lot. Uh, it's it's uh, Gulf Front Lot, Southwind Drive in Hudson. Now, at the end of the street, you also have a spot for a boat slip, uh, so you can build a boat dock. You've got access to water and electric at the end of the boat, uh, the end of the street there. So, Bay Access, Southwind Drive in Hudson. You can see all of our listings at Platinum MVP Team. Dot kw. Dot com. All right, Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Welcome back, sir. Hello, Brandon. I uh, hope you guys don't mind. I had a rush out. I'm in the car. We'll do the show from the from the car. I got a 45 minute ride, so hopefully we got enough time to take care of it. How's everything on your end? There you go. Hey, we got a good signal, so uh, things are going well. Blessed and highly favored, as we always say, and uh, just real excited about uh, a lot of growth happening around the show. And uh, by the way, I haven't made it official yet, but we've got a 10 year anniversary cruise. And and uh, would love to have you and and your folks on it and uh, for the consumer quarterback show celebrating ten years in August. Ten years, yeah. So ten gonna... years in August. Jeez, I I think I'm I'm close to that, aren't I? You are. You're one of our longest running uh, partners on the program. That is for sure. Wow, it's always been a yep. good program. A uh, bunch of good people that uh, that you have over there. I've I've enjoyed practically every host that you ever ever. I'm sorry, every guest that you've ever had. And some of the co-hosts that you've had, you, we, I worked the show when you were out a couple of times. You had some tremendous co-hosts on there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you for that. And, yeah, we appreciate it. we got a great team around us, and it's always, you know, the team effort uh, with any business that you're in. It's always, you know, the team, the support staff, everybody behind the scenes putting the program together. And um, what's new over in your world, Tampa Screens and Aluminum? Extremely busy. Um, you know, the economy is getting a little soft. The housing market may be getting a little soft. But, you know, I continue to see a lot of folks and money pouring into the state of Florida as opposed to other states. And I don't think that's going to stop for many, many years. We're doing very well. Uh, and, it, you know, with, with whatever goes on in the market, interest rates, insurance, et cetera, our business continues to thrive. Uh, you know, even if the, the house, the value of the house seems to drop, uh, people still want the uh, the space in the backyard what's what's that famous term that you call it the the in-between space i love when you say it i i, you know, I can't always say it. i you say it better than me any any day <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right. so uh, one thing i always say to people never say to a screen guy not in my backyard <laughs> there you go yeah that's anyway. right so yeah, anyway so so things are things are very good um you know we we control the uh, influx of business very well. My hat goes off to the people in the office, and a lot comes across our plate, and there's nobody in that office that cannot handle it, which makes it much more, you know, easy and more beneficial for a guy like me out, out in the field. Um, if there's a problem that occurs, it, it goes away as fast as it comes in, and, and I like that with Tampa Screens. That's the kind of company that they are, very, very uh, service-oriented, you know, we have put some repairs on the back burner because uh, some of the labor, uh, you know, labor is very hard to come by right now. A lot of the good labor has gone south, and they're making the big bucks down in the southwest. But that's to be expected. Anytime there's a major catastrophe and major storm in the state of Florida, um, the, the rates always go up in that particular area. But uh, that's probably going to come to a close within the next year or so. You know, we're expecting to get uh, a lot more labor to come back and work at, you know, at the normal prices. So we're looking forward to that. Either way, it's all good. Right, yeah, and you're referring to the Hurricane Ian recovery? Southwest, yes. Southwest Florida. I, mentioned, I just mentioned Southwest because it's, it's just who I've been down there a couple of times, and, man, it's, it's very sad what you see. You see a lot of blue tarps. Yeah, it really and, is. And I, 
unfortunately, you know, when the cage can't go back until the roof is up, and the roofs will not be up for quite some time because I understand shingle is at a premium right now, and uh, of course sheathing and everything else. So uh, I actually have uh, family members down there that are still waiting on the roof. And wow. uh, one of the uh, one of the members of their family, not related to me, uh, is in the construction business, and they cannot push along any f- any faster than anybody else. So that tells you something about the industry. All right, Materials let's, let's, are at a premium. Let's leave it at that for this segment. We're going to come back more with Fred Muth, aka the Tin Man, Tampa Screens and Aluminum Supply Chain, Labor Force Permitting, and more uh, coming up in our conversation on uh, construction contracting. Uh, more with Fred Muth uh, later on. We got Clyde Smith, Bill Mar Beach Resort as well, and our feel good story of the day. Uh, we got an owl escapes the New York City Zoo, but after survival instincts kick in, officials give it some freedom in Central Park. We'll be right back. Consumer Quarterback Show. Consumer ConsumerQB.com. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We always like to help you understand your buying decisions, make you more street smart here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And uh, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty, we always like to feature our real estate listings live on air as well, help our sellers profit more and sell faster. Uh, we got a hit hot listing here at 10821. Tier Lane. Uh, this is a Pasco County property, uh, single family home, uh, cute setup here, beautiful property at 1,432 square feet. You got two bedrooms, two bath, open floor plan, combined dining and living area. So you got a screened in back porch as well. And Timber Oaks community of Pasco County, 10821 Tier Lane in Port Ritchie, one of our real estate listings here in Tampa Bay. 8715 Longboat. Another one of our properties uh, that we have in Hudson area. Uh, this one is in Pasco as well. Uh, this one is on 8715 Longboat uh, Longboat Drive uh, here in Tampa, Longboat Lane that is actually uh, here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we've got 8711 Longboat as well. Uh, beautiful property, 1296 square feet, two bedrooms, two bath, uh, new cabinet uh, new cabinetry and fixtures, granite countertops, no HOA mandatory. And you also have access to the bay here uh, from this community. You've got a community boat dock where you can uh, launch your boat and get out there and enjoy the Tampa Bay lifestyle. You can see all of our listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. All right, let's give a quick shout out as well to Ramin Kazami, uh, the official uh, pressure washing company of the Consumer Quarterback Show. They help us out with all of our real estate properties whenever we need a property cleaned up. Heightsoftwash.com. Check them out online. Heightsoftwash.com. Heightsoftwash pressure washing company here in Tampa Bay. The owner's name is Ramin. Uh, great guy. And you can find him online. Let him know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, Fred Mute, Tampa Screens and Aluminum uh, back on the show. And uh, Fred, you were talking a little bit more about you were starting to get into some of the supply chain labor force and then of course permitting before the break yeah you know the permitting uh, as opposed to as i spoke on the last show i am beginning to see the permitting process starting to go a little faster right now which really makes me happy you know i it's difficult to tell a, a homeowner uh, after they just purchased their home and you know it took them nine eight nine to ten or twelve months to build the home to tell them that it's three to four months to get a permit for a screen enclosure, they, the, their jaw drops. Right. And in reality, it should not be that long. But, you know, a lot of that reason is because the permitting has been slow because of the new home construction, which right now is starting to slow down a little bit. So permits are beginning to go a little faster. You know, many years ago when I got into this business, um, I, I could sign the job at the beginning of the month, had the permit in four days, Concrete done in six, screen up in nine. You know, in, in reality, that's the way it was. Um, not at all like that at this point. Well, one of the reasons, uh, back when I started in this business, there was uh, the engineering was supplied. It was in-house engineering, so we did not have to send everything out to the structural engineer to be signed and sealed. In today's world, you have to send your drawings to the structural engineer to sign and seal, which adds to the cost and adds to the delay. And uh, then, of course, the, you know, everything else that goes on in our industry with uh, materials being delayed and uh, a lot of business coming across the plate. The building departments, they, they don't really uh, bring up their staffing to the point where they should to make it work. And I don't really want to fault them for that because in today's world, it's very hard to find 
aggressive people that are willing to work. And I'm sure you experienced that yourself in your business. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you find that. And I do talk, I t- when I talk to a lot of the contractors that I'm working with out there in the community, you find uh, that's a that's an overwhelming and resounding uh, talk is is that, you know, yeah, I'd like to grow. I just can't find the right help. I can't find the right people. Um, so sometimes that's, you know, especially for small business owners, contractors, um, it's it seems to be a, a sticking point for a lot of them. Hard to understand. I guess, you know, the the age bracket that, that I'm in and you're in, uh, you know, we were raised to be aggressive uh, in business. And whether right. you made money or not, you were still raised to be aggressive and, and go for it. No matter what you did, you had to go for it. And, uh, you know, that's that's still inside of me. And I see other young people that just do not have that drive. And, and I think it's a shame for them because they can never experience you know, the benefit and the reward of going for something and accomplishing something, they're, they're not able to do that because they're sitting around doing nothing. Hard for me to get. I, I don't get it. You know, it's, it's interesting when you said that, you, you brought me up to something I saw on one of the other podcasts or you refreshed my memory on something. You know, I would say that I'm very proud to be an American. I'm proud to live in the United States. Uh, but it it's, reminds me of a study that I just saw. It was on a, another podcast I listened to. But the question was something to that effect is, is, you know, are you proud to be an American? Or are you are you proud to say that you live in the United States? And, and it was the, the different numbers were astounding. Boomers generation, you know, of course, ahead of me, uh, their problem boomers would be what now I'm guessing 60s, 70s, 80s. Is that right? For, for that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. So, their numbers were something like 87 percent. Yes, I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to live in the United States. Gen X, which I believe I'm in, uh, being around 45, uh, Gen X was more along like 56, 56. And the trend continues downward if you wonder where I'm going with this. Uh, so as far as proud to be an American. Millennials in Generation Z, I don't remember specific numbers, but it was more along the lines of the 10 or 12 and 15 percent would actually say that they're proud to be an American. That's a shame. They, they haven't been around long enough to see both sides of the fence. Right. And, you know, the grass is never greener. Believe me, I, I jumped over the fence a couple of times. And uh, you find out that way that where you're at is, is an, an ideal place in this world to be. But these younger people, they don't, they don't get that, uh, unfortunately. Uh, as time goes on, they, they'll have to understand. Uh, you know, they'll, hard knocks, the school of hard knocks. Remember that one? The school of hard knocks. That's right. And a lot of them are being brainwashed by some of these, you know, leftist, uh, you know, educators, people, so-called, you know, professors, et cetera. You know, they have this this mindset about America being a bad place. But uh, I don't want to go down that tangent. But, uh, you know, no, 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 that's that'll ruin my day. I know. Right. It's such a <laughs> such a great uh, you know place to be. Um but yeah, you know, something else that, that we had happen here uh, with the Consumer Quarterback Show, we were talking about uh, some of the uh, medical things that happened a couple years ago and, and, you know, a year and a half ago. And uh, we used some language that uh, one of the social media sites didn't like. Um, so I want to I play a quick clip here about this uh, site called Rumble. A lot of people are making a move to rumble uh, over some of the other choices when it comes to video streaming. Uh, But here's an interesting uh, take uh, as well, and it's going to mention Governor DeSantis as well. One of the personalities who went over there who is not typically viewed as conservative but challenges conventional wisdom is comedian Russell Brand. He said he made the move to rumble because YouTube kept putting warnings on his videos that challenged government COVID policies. It also censored a medical roundtable hosted by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis that included Ivy League trained scientists offering their view that children didn't need to get the COVID vaccine. So here's an ad Rumble has been running that depicts YouTube as a baseball umpire. You mean like people not following your policies? Strike one! Uh, what if someone tells the truth, but it's labeled as misinformation? Frick you! Wow, what if I want to ask questions and have different opinions on things? Strike three! You're out of here! So they actually did that. They pulled us down. Some of the, you know, the sites have, had, I believe, shadow banned some of our responses and, and uh, you know, the amount of views that we should be receiving. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, Rumble is a, a nice secondary choice for a lot of people when it comes to video streaming services. Sure, sure. I'm shaking my head. You can't see my head shaking, but believe me, I'm shaking my head. Yeah, right. <laughs> strike one, yeah. strike two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway. Well, the world's a great place to be. 
America is fantastic. If you don't believe me, go somewhere else and try it. Come on back. You'll love it here. Exactly. That's right. Uh, so we're talking with Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, longtime friend of the program. He can build these beautiful screen rooms, pool enclosures, uh, all types of great projects, Fred. Do you have any recent success stories? Well, yeah, we just completed a, a cage uh, at the MOSI Mosey on Fowler, Museum of Science and Industry. And that cage is built for the butterflies. It's a butterfly exhibit. And it's, I don't know how familiar you are, but if you're traveling on Fowler, um, and you go by Mosey on the east side, on, on oh, yeah. the southbound side of Mosey's. Uh, on the actual, it's on the east side, but it's south, it's south side of, of uh, Fowler. Uh, there, there it is, right next to the dinosaur. So that's a great one for people to swing by and take a look at our work. And that's only phase one of the project. Phase two should be going in within the next month. We're uh, screening in right underneath of the uh, parking garage. There, we're building a big, huge area with the parking garage that's going to be nice as well and i believe there's going to be a bar restaurant in there screened in so several jobs like that people can swing by and take a look at at their convenience they can see the quality of tampa screens and how well that they they build these cages yeah yeah that's awesome and we've had you know several people over the years nothing but great compliments and especially you know for tampa screens and aluminum but also for a lot of our uh, different uh, expert contributors and guests that you know we get raving fans calling into the hotline uh, so reach out if you'd like to talk to any of our expert contributors we're talking with fred muth tampa screens and aluminum right now 813-917-1894 call or text the hotline 813-917-1894 and we can put you in touch with over 50 different show partners um, 80 different categories of consumer advocate content and advice uh, here on the consumer quarterback show we love to help you win we want to help you save time and money as well when it comes to these buying decisions, making you more street smart. Uh, so, Fred, back to you. Final thoughts, and how do you want folks to connect? 813-960-7064 is our direct number, or they could just look up tampascreensandaluminum.com, send us a request for a quote. Uh, you know, that's that's typically how the majority of the folks are contacting us. And uh, a final closing thoughts, closing words, uh, when you do bid out a project, whether it's screen enclosure, roof, room addition, whatever it is, make sure as a consumer you ask a lot of questions because if that consultant cannot answer your questions, there's a problem. And in our business, we appreciate the questions. That way we know if we miss something, there should be no surprise on the back end. Nothing worse in the construction business than a surprise on the back end. That's right. Absolutely, a.k.a. change orders in some cases. <laughs> so, oh, no. yeah. Not my favorite. That's right. All right, Fred Muth, always a pleasure catching up with you, my friend. I will catch up with you real soon. Looking forward to meeting up with you again. It's been a while. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it soon, man. All right, okay, Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Find them online. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Coming up in just a moment, we've got Clyde Smith. He's the general manager for the Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show over on beautiful Treasure Island. Uh, we're going to talk with him, get a beach update from Clyde Smith coming up here in just a minute. Uh, we also have a feel-good story of the day about this owl that escapes the New York City Zoo. We'll be right back. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. 